Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info and today we're talking about the big Wear OS update, the HMR2 update. Specifically, we're going to be talking about how that update has changed and improved the TicWatch Pro 3. The HMR2 update has been out for a while now, but it just landed on my TicWatch Pro 3 about two weeks ago. Its arrival on the Pro 3 is significant because as of right now, I believe the TicWatch Pro 3 is still the only Wear OS smartwatch using Qualcomm's latest 4100 chipset. A few months back, I did an entire video comparing the 4100 to Qualcomm's previous offerings, and more recently, I did a full update review on the TicWatch Pro 3. So if you're interested in a more comprehensive video about this watch, I will leave links in the description for those videos. And if you do take the time to go back and check those out, you may as well also take the time to give this video a thumbs up and sub to the channel. That's not a bad idea. Today in this video, we are only focusing on the changes the HMR2 update has made to the Pro 3 and just how much it has improved the day-to-day -day use and performance of the watch. First, if you have a Pro 3 and want to make sure you have received the update, go to your settings, scroll all the way down to system, and then scroll to about. If the build number is PMRB, 210407.001, then you have the update. If you are still missing the update, then just make sure you keep the watch turned on overnight. And if you have the GPS version of the watch, make sure you keep it Bluetoothed to your phone and you should get it. You might also have to have the watch on the charger to actually install the update. So keep that in mind as well. I have the GPS version of the Pro 3, but I think the update is out now for the LTE version of the watch as well. So you should have the update either way by now. So what exactly is included in this update? Well, the short answer is a lot. The longer answer can be found on the mobvoy.com forums. And for your convenience, I've included a link to that forum down below, but also for your convenience, I have screenshots. New features to the watch include the option to disable the long press power button to activate Google Assistant, a new screen brightness layout, a new weather tile, a new theater mode, and it is now easier to enter and exit essential mode. Some of the bigger improvements to the watch consist of better volume bar displays, improved app sorting and sliding smoothness when using the Mobvoi app launcher, better off-body detection, a new security patch, and better overall performance. Finally, there are some miscellaneous bug fixes. These are bugs I never personally noticed, but it's nice they have been addressed all the same. Sadly, the one bug I do notice that has not been fixed is the inability to send text messages with the Google Assistant. This is not a problem specific to this watch. It's an ongoing issue across all Wear OS devices that Google, for some strange reason, refuses to address. Now, just to be clear, you can send text messages with the watch through the messaging app and you can dictate the message using your voice and it will work just fine. What you can't do is initiate the sending of the text with the Google Assistant. This has not been a huge issue for me personally since I usually use my watch to quick respond to texts anyway, but it's still something I felt needed to be mentioned. Now, this was a very large update and as such, you might think it would have had a significant impact on my day-to-day -day use of the watch, but to be honest, that hasn't really been the case. This isn't a bad thing. The watch was running really well before the update and it's running really well now. However, I do appreciate a few of the changes. Theater mode has made it easier to keep my watch screen dark during sleepy time. The improved scrolling when using the launcher has been nice. The lack of blinding flashing lights when I take the watch off my wrist has been a welcome improvement. And I do like the new and improved weather tile. And that's about it. I'm sure other users will notice different improvements with their day-to-day -day use of the watch. That's just the differences I have noticed. Last but not least, I didn't notice any changes to the watch's overall performance or battery life. That doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't any improvements, just none that I've noticed in my day-to-day -day use. Once again, I don't really think this is a big deal since I felt like the watch's performance and battery life was good already, but I thought I should mention it all the same. That's all the information I have today about the HMR2 update and the TicWatch Pro 3. If you have a TicWatch Pro 3 and you've gotten this update, I'm curious to know what improvements you have noticed. So please drop me a line and let me know down in the comments. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.